Hey everyone, welcome back to The Hidden Brick, where today we're going to build the LEGO Jurassic World Dilos Dilophosaurus Outpost Attack. So this is obviously from the new Jurassic World uh, sub-theme of LEGO. So you can see on the back it shows some of the, the play features. Um, we got the dinosaur, and there's also a baby dinosaur somewhere. There he is, in the crate. So, open this guy up, jump right into this. I like the little collect them all graphic back here that shows all the different dinosaurs. So hopefully I will collect them all. I do have all of the sets except for the large uh, museum looking set, but we'll get that eventually. All right, so here's our contents. We have numbered bag one. We have a single instruction book. A small sticker sheet, unnumbered bag, and then we have a, a bag number two. So let's open up our bag one parts. A lot of gray colors in this first bag. Two smaller bags and the big bag. Get all that dumped out. Hitch one, hitch two. And lastly, we have our dino bag that also has some little flex uh, bars with a little bar hole attachment on the end. Okay. There's a perforated end on this bag. There's a lot of bags. Bags inside of bags inside of bags. Alright. Here's our dinosaur parts. And we're good to go. I'll start with the dinosaur since I already have it in my hand. The Dilophosaurus. head. You can see it doesn't have a bottom jaw. So we need to take the jaw piece and snap it on. Just goes like that. You can see it kind of clicks into place. It's either an open position or a closed position. It doesn't really do much of anything other than that. Put it on that Technic friction pin has some movement. Our legs already have friction pins built into them. So those will just pop into the side. There and there. And then we also have our arms that have the pins already built into them. Okay. That is our Dilophosaurus. Pretty cool. He does stand up on the hind legs just fine. Move him to the side. We have our first minifigure of the set. There are three minifigures. One adult dinosaur and then a baby dinosaur. So this guy is called Tracker. And he has the cool Mr. T Mohawk style hairpiece. Very good. It doesn't show him holding a weapon or anything. So just move him to the side. So we'll back out and begin the build of our first little part for the outpost. Starting with this plate with some jumper tiles and then another tile. And we have two of these newer style studs with the leaves on it. So it's a hollow stud. It has a leaf pattern kind of coming out the edge of it. We saw this in that little 
Faby Playpen Jurassic World set we built a few days ago. It has the same little piece. Pretty sure all the Lego Friends and Elves sets all come with that part in it as well. All right, we have two inverted slopes. A one by six plate. Four of these plates with the clips. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Doesn't look like they gave us an extra hairpiece is pretty nice. Switch that out with some other minifigures, make a custom mohawk to minifigure. All right, so we have these clips sticking up and it looks like we're gonna put this glass panel right inside of those clips to kind of create a, a windscreen of some sort. Actually, it's going to be the, the computer control panel or I guess more like a heads up display. the sticker that goes right there so you can see all of the looks like the park is displayed and some of the dinosaurs parts are displayed in there as well right. plate there we have our keyboard tile so this little tile is standard Lego tile that has a keyboard print on it. You can see that. Do have a coffee mug. And two of these tall one by one bricks. is two of the taller one by two bricks. Put one there. One right there. Technic brick across the top of them. And two one by four bricks. One and two. Got this Technic axle, a little stop on it. Slide that through the back, put this cone on there. And a plate on the top. The outpost is coming together. This looks to be some sort of um, staff or electric Shocking stick shows it clipped onto that one clip there. Yeah, dropping stuff again. All right, so that fencing. Need a plate with a bar piece. A ladder there, another fence piece here. Two grill tiles and then two of these one by fours with the studs on the end. Two more clips. the older style roll bar pieces on the 
top we'll have the plate with the clips. Take this piece and then we have this shield part that has this little bar on the back. Put those right there. And these will clip on to those clips. So it kind of creates a little roof part. Do you have a single pair of binoculars clipped here? Move that to the side for a second. We have a antenna part to make. Starts with this dish. Put this guy on. Rotates around, but I guess you can just leave it there for now. All right, move that to the side again. We have this large Exonite style wall panel. Put some pieces on top here. Couple corner chamfer tiles, jumper tile, and sticker time, sticker number one. And the sticker has a number two on it. Stickers add a little bit of kind of scratches or weathering onto the model. Doesn't really add too much as far as detail. So this appears to be some sort of light that we're gonna make. That, two clear studs clip on there. So we bring our Outpost over, and we can slide this right on there and turn our light up like that. And then, of course, the play feature is this little plunger part you push on it. So, if I give it a push, it pops the, the wall panel off. So, it's as if it's being destroyed or knocked down. That little piece is done, so we'll move it to the side. Now it appears we're gonna make a gate portion. So we have three brackets on the underside. A couple more on the other side. of bricks with bars and clips on them. All goes like that. On top of that we'll put four panels. One, two, three, and four. more 
more bricks with clips and we have these grooved bricks. around more brackets two bow shapes and these tower pieces you have to be careful when you're attaching stuff make sure that they don't topple over all right so we have a two times build we're gonna make two of the same piece so we start with this thing get too far along I want to catch up with the other one they don't show that bushing all the way on so it appears we're gonna put that red axle joiner on here to bring this over Attaching it to those brackets. See, we have these little plunger pieces on there as well. All right, so we have two grill tiles. We'll do a trans green tile, trans red tile, and then we have a couple more lights, which consist of the mixel joint the grill tile and two clear studs. We're gonna make two of those guys. One, two. And one more grill tile. Let's snap on these toe ball pieces that are sticking up. Turn this guy around. These jail cell doors are gonna make the gates. They're just being held on with these jumper tiles. Oops, I'm supposed to put them on both sides. I'll fix the other one. Okay. Point those lights down into the little outpost area. And then our play feature here are these little Technic axles that are sticking out. You can push on that. shoots the gate off. It doesn't pop it off so much as it shoots it off. So, not quite sure if I dig that. And it's actually pretty stiff too. It's not that easy to pop it off. But hey, it's a play feature. So, take it for what it's worth. All right, so now with that complete, let's bring our tower over. Um, let me orient it the right way. So it goes like this. All right, so we have this clip that's hanging out the side here. That's going to clip onto this bar piece that's sticking out there. And they kind of kind of fold a little bit. You can fold it whichever way you want. But that completes bag number one. So a few extra pieces left over, just your small stuff, nothing nothing major. 
is a good thing. Let's put the guy in there so we don't lose him. And let's quickly move on to our second bag of parts right now. Okay, we have our second bag out and we have a couple minifigures. Um, we do have our, our baby dinosaur. It looks like the exact same dinosaur that was in the poly bag. A little playpen, so that's fun. Getting more of those baby dinosaurs. Um, we do have two of these officers let me make sure i get the right torso they look to be the exact same torso so let's check the legs legs are the same so the only thing different is the head and the hair pieces so this one is the female figure and she has a tranquilizer dart gun so we can pop the gun on and you can see it has a little syringe piece that acts as the tranquilizer. So move her to the side and our last one. He has a kind of a tactical helmet on that has the visor that has the built-in binocular piece. Well, as a walkie-talkie so no weapon for him he just it's more or less a, a lookout guy that can relay what he sees on to the rest of his team cool so we'll move that to the side nothing spectacular about the minifigures in the set um, you know this set is really more for the dinosaurs so we have a crate that we're gonna put a little egg piece in so it's basically a little dino egg and now let's continue the build of our outpost. Starting with this bracket, attach a few plates to it and then a larger plate here. And two more brackets. with another plate. Brown plate underneath that one. Let me guess, some more brackets. Yep. So we got our plate. Bracket and a plate. Three of these plates. Two black plates right there. And some tiles. Two tiles. There does not seem to be as many parts in this bag or bag as there was in the first, first bag. Should be able to get through this pretty quickly. So one by ones with clips right there and there. And some more plates with clips. All right. Move this guy to the side. We have a three times build. So we're gonna make this little tower of bricks and clips. So three of those bricks and three of these plates with clips. And top it off with a dark blue plate. So that's our first one of three. So let's get the other two built real quick. Easy little duplicate build. All right. There we go. 
go. Just bring this guy back over and they all go on top of the clips that are already there. So on top of that, we're gonna do, let's see, another brick here, inverted slope brick, and another brick here. For more brackets. One, two. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen eventually. This is what I tried to warn you earlier about when there's towers. You're stacking towers, you have to be careful because they're kind of flimsy. Luckily, they're also easy to rebuild. Put that bracket on. Hopefully we'll get some more support in here. More or less building a flimsy wall. All right. So this may help. A three times build of this little construction. So it's a plate with a slope, slotted tile, and a jumper tile. Plate, slope. Tile, slotted tile. And where is this shown? Okay, so we're turning this around. Okay. So I missed a step where we had to turn the model around. So my brackets are facing the wrong way. So is my inverted slope. So I'm gonna reverse these. Put the bracket back on. And now these guys will help hold everything together. like that. So we'll turn this back around. So now all the clips are facing out. We're going to put two corner plates on here. One, two. Now we're going to use these long kind of flex bars that have the little bar pieces on the end. What we're going to do is clip on ends to these clips. We're creating kind of a, a horizontal fence. Like they're going to give us an extra unless we're going to use it for something else but there's only four clips or four sets of clips but we have five of these little bars you can see that makes a nice fence it is kind of flexible but that's okay we can deal with that right. so we have a, another bracket we'll go there more of these connector panels. Goes there. Two plates, we have a four by four turntable plate.
this guy that's going to get a sign. I saw the sign, there it is. It's going to get a sticker. It's kind of a warning sticker. Kind of looks like it's warning you of a electrical shock. So put that guy there. the model pay attention to that some greenery pieces out here all right so next up it looks like we're gonna build a little crane piece for these plates with clips control panel piece two of these newer style guardrail slash bumper pieces go there we have a space handlebar two of these quick hinge pieces Guess what time it is? It's last sticker time. That simply goes like that. So this will pop on the top on this turntable piece. I don't know how anyone gets up to there, but it's there. And just like our other section, we just clip it onto the side, just like that. And the last little piece we have is this crate. We put two of these space handlebar pieces. And then we have this um, older style flexible tube with the little bar holes that we bring around to both sides. That goes just like that. Put our baby dino in here. Let's see if I can get him to stick onto one of those studs in there. stud and you can see we can put them on the crane all right so there we go that completes the build of our jurassic world dilophosaurus outpost attack dinosaur names always are kind of tongue twisters to me but either way we got it all figured out so there it is there's our dino that's what everyone came to see of course we have three of the Jurassic World employees slash guards. We have a box with a dino egg in it. And then we have this little outpost that has our play features, including the crane that you can, I guess, lift the, the baby dino up and around. The control panel on the inside. We got the, the uh, gates that can be blown out. And then we have this cool little horizontal fence. Very cool stuff. All right, so that's going to do it for this one. I appreciate you guys watching as always. If you're, if you fast forward this, if you fast forwarded to the end, then you're not my biggest fan. If you watch the whole thing without fast forwarding, let me know. Put a comment down below. Don't forget to check out all the links down below while you're down there. We've got a ton of other Jurassic World sets built, plus all the new ones coming up. We're building them all, so check out that link down there, and we'll see you in the next one.